You need to use this tool right now to optimize Windows 10 and Windows 11 for ultimate gaming and performance. This will not only help you boost FPS and increase the performance in all games, but also reduce the input delay as well as optimize the overall windows for gaming and productivity. So let's dive into it. But quickly guys, if you want zero ping in any game that you play, then check out the Gear Up Booster from the link in the description as it provides you with the optimal network routes, giving you zero ping and packet loss in every game. So go down into the description and download the Gear Up Booster now and now let's get back into the video. The first thing that I want you to do is go down into the description of this video and click on the link to go on to my website. Once there, click on the red download button to download the xtbox.exe which is a tool that we will be using today. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and open it up and if the smart screen opens up like this, just click on more information and run anyways. Don't worry, this is completely safe. It just modifies the windows files, hence why the smart screen prevents it from running. So click on run anyway and the tool is going to start loading up and this right here is the interface. You can see that who it is made by and also their discord link so if you want that you can go ahead and check those out but once this opens up here's how you can use it you need to go ahead and type in the initial letter or the one that is provided in the brackets right here and then the number that you want to use so the first one that we're going to be using is actually the home controller so what you want to do is type in d and then press the number that is 2 and then hit enter it's going to ask whether you want to download it from the github repository just type in y and hit enter and then it's going to go ahead and download the home controller then it's going to ask whether you want to run it just press y once again and hit enter now this is going to go ahead and load up the home controller inside of this new window all right so now that it has opened up all you need to do is press run for the optimizations and as you can see we have a lot of them right here so it's going to go ahead and import the power plan but if you guys are using high performance and you have watched my previous videos then just keep that one and skip the power plan as for the svc host split threshold what you want to do is type in 2 and then press enter and now it has automatically set that according to our ram size as for the cs or ss high priority i just want to keep it at off right now time and resolution skip it doesn't really do that much these days and as for the msi mode just go ahead and type in 5 hit enter once again and now as you can see that it has automatically enabled the msi mode for our gpu as well as our network adopter you can also read the description for all of these tweaks right here as for the affinities it may or may not work properly so that is the reason i want to keep this one off inside of here for the win32 priority separation is going to set it to program so if you haven't already optimized this setting press the 7 hit enter and there are two options the one that I recommend is the first one the 26 hex but you can always go ahead and change it to 28 and test that also 26 is the default so you can always revert back to this one but for me I'm just gonna go ahead and type in 1 and that's it as for the memory optimization as you can see that it optimizes your FS utility when startup settings and more you can go ahead and type in 8 press enter and now it wants to restart to fully apply it so right now i'm recording the video so i'm not gonna go ahead and restart also you can go ahead and do this step at the end of the video so that you can restart later but i'm gonna type in n and press enter in your case you may want to type in y and then press enter as for the mouse fix it's going to basically disable the mouse acceleration as well as fix the pointer precision inside of your mouse so just type in 9 hit enter and then it's going to go ahead and load up this window setting inside of here what you want to take a look at is your scale also make sure that it is set to 100% recommended in case that it's not 100% just go ahead and select 100% close out of this and then go ahead and type in 100 and press enter it's going to automatically set that and also it wants to restart once again but i'm gonna go ahead and type in n and then press enter as for the nvidia tweaks these only apply if you are using an nvidia gpu but the ones that i want you to apply are the disable preemptation the nvidia tweaks the nvidia disable telemetry and the disable right combining these are the force that i want you to apply just leave the inspector because you can go ahead and check out my other videos as they go ahead and mess with some of the hidden settings as well which may or may not work the best for you then press n to move on to the next page and inside of here you can find the network tweaks now for the optimized tcp ip i mean it does work for some people and it may not work for others also don't use this if you're using wi-fi as for the optimized nic it's going to go ahead and optimize your network call settings and then the third one is optimized net sh this is the one that i'm gonna go ahead and apply so press 3 hit enter and now it's gonna go ahead and optimize the net sh settings then there are the gpu and the cpu tweaks and inside of here all gpu tweaks these are the ones that are going to work for all of the gpu brands but i will recommend this only to the amd users as well as the intel igpu users and also for the igpu intel users you can go ahead and press 5 
and as for the AMD users just, just go ahead and press 6. I'm not gonna go ahead and apply any of these since I do use an Nvidia GPU and I already have the optimized settings. As for the miscellaneous trees, reduce audio latency, just go ahead and press 7 and also don't use this on slow or older PCs. As for the debloat, it's going to be coming soon but I wouldn't recommend debloating it from here if it doesn't give you the options. As for the disable mitigations, just go ahead and press 9, hit enter and now it's going to go ahead and disable protections against memory based attacks that consumes the performance of course. Then as for the 10, it's going to remove adware, unused devices, temp and empties the recycle bin. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in 10, hit enter and then let it do its work. Moving on what we will be doing is uh, typing in 11 and press enter. This is going to set the CPU and GPU to high performance and also disables full screen optimizations which I highly recommend of course. So we're gonna go ahead and type in 11 and press enter. Select the game location, you can also go ahead and revert this by doing it the second time. Once again what we are gonna be doing is select the .exe file for our game which in my case is going to be somewhere right here. Here it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on open and it's done. We are gonna be going ahead and skipping this because we don't really need it. I'm gonna go ahead and type N to go on to the next page which of course is the page one once again and we can go ahead and type in B to go back to the menu. Moving on to the game settings go ahead and press 2 and inside of here the only game present right now is Minecraft so if you want to optimize it you can go ahead and do that otherwise I'm gonna go ahead and type in B to go back. The third option is the media option so if I press 3 it's going to go ahead and install and update OBS, recording and streaming settings if you want to set those but I will be making a video pretty soon on the best OBS settings hence why I'm not gonna go ahead and apply any of these. The only good settings here for gamers are actually the FPS games and the Minecraft which I don't really use. I mean if you do have Minecraft then go ahead and use the ninth one otherwise just go ahead and skip this media setting and press B to go back. As far for the privacy settings it has not yet been released since you can see that it says this feature has not been finished yet but will be coming soon. So if you are watching this in the future and this setting is there just go ahead and apply the ones that you think will be the best for your privacy settings. As for the aesthetics they are not here as well and then for the sixth the advanced ones go ahead and type in that. So inside of here you can see that it gives a warning that these tweaks are highly experimental and we do not recommend proceeding if you don't know what you are doing. So just go ahead and read this and don't continue of course if you don't want to but I'm gonna go ahead and type in I agree and then it's going to go ahead and go for the network tweaks, the power tweaks, other tweaks and that's basically it. So for the network tweaks I would just recommend you guys to skip all of this portion because it can mess with your network and you may need to divert it so just go ahead and skip this one completely. Then as for the power tweaks just go ahead and disable the C state so I'm gonna go ahead and type in 6 and press enter. It's going to ask you to restart press N. We're gonna be going ahead and restarting later on. Of course this goes ahead and keeps your CPU at C0 state. Stopping throttling will make the PC generate more heat of course yes. So if you are facing any heat up issues just go ahead and come back here press 6 once again and then hit enter press N to not restart and as you can see that the C state is disabled. So I do recommend experimenting with this one. If you don't have a heat up issue then go ahead and turn it on otherwise turn it off. Same thing for the PS state is 0 go ahead and turn it on but if your GPU starts heating up a lot then go ahead and turn it off. As for the disable idle it just keeps your PC running at 100% which may give you a slight improvement in performance in some cases but otherwise it's not worth it if you don't have a custom power plan. For the other tweaks go ahead and for the Nvidia driver it's going to install the best tweaked Nvidia driver for latency and FPS just don't do it from here. As for the BCD edits go ahead and press 10 and it's going to treat your windows boot config data to optimize settings just go ahead and do it. Then for the disabled USB power saving options I always recommend it so go ahead and type in 11 hit enter and then it's going to go ahead and disable all of the power saving features that are on your USB devices. Then go ahead and press B to go back and then go into the 7 and more and this one is basically their discord. You can go ahead and back up your current registry and create restore points so go ahead and check those guys out who have put a lot of hard work and effort into the home control panel. Other than that I don't want you to use every single one the bloat option inside of here as well as any of the tweak options inside of here other than the win arrow tweaker which I already have covered in a video, the CTT Chris Titus tech tool which we have already covered once again and the NVC clean install and you can press N to go on to the next step. Modded ISOs well these can be downloaded from here but I wouldn't recommend downloading them from here you can always go ahead and search them up and go on to their discord which also shows you that whether the project is currently even running or not or if they are being updated or not at all. In the future I think I will be covering some other debloat options and maybe some of these tweak options too I am not really sure but I will definitely be covering some of these debloat options. But now that you have done this go ahead and check out this video if you want to optimize Windows 10 or 11 without downloading anything or any tools.